probably like the one and only time I'm gonna shoot this. I don't think I'm gonna uh make any more just written, you feel me? So I'm just gonna do what needs to be done and say what needs to be said and just, you know, just kinda live this moment the way I feel I'm supposed to, not try too hard. But basically, um I've been trying to make this this video for a while or just get this off my chest for a while, really. Um Things are different. Things are crazy. Things are changing. You feel me? Not just in my life, in your life, in everybody's life. Uh, times are happening. You feel me? Um, there's nothing to be scared about. These are the things that were meant to happen. These are the things that, even if you don't remember agreeing to it, you agree to it. And um, it's just, it's just planned. But regardless, you know, we all have our own testimony. And, you know, things that got us to this place, things that happened to us things that we don't talk about you know and for the people that have gotten out of that dark place like myself I can only give you know the glory and my testimony and, you know the reason to why it happened to Jesus to God you feel me like that was the only thing that helped me when I was in such a dark place and you know Satan had his claws so deep in me and my life was just in a dark area that was really the only thing that helped me that saved me um because that's what he is here to do. His salvation that he gives us is free. The blessing of salvation through his life that he gives us is free. And that's just what it is. But um, enough about that. Because that's for all of you guys to figure out on your own. For him to show you on his on his own. For you know your timing. Everybody has different timing. You could watch this whole video full, full through and not understand one word I'm saying. You won't understand it until it's your time to understand it. So just remember where you are is like the best place to be. Because it's all you need to know at the moment. There's nothing more for you to know. Um, some things aren't revealed to you for a reason. Some people aren't in your life for a reason. Things happen to you for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. So just remember that. And, you know, try to stay, you know, strong in your faith. Just regardless of what's going on. Um, just that it'll get better for now. You know, until you can change and really focus your faith on God and know that he's the reason to why it's getting better. Just focus on your faith. Focus on your faith to, you know, it will get better. Um, for people that don't know, this is my, my baby brother. This is my boy. This is Melo. Um, he won't be paying you guys any mind. He's going to be an asshole the whole video. So he may jump in and interrupt me. He may do a lot of things, but that's Melo. Pretty cool. Look. Smell up. Well, yeah. My testimony. Um, let's say we can start this off all the way since birth. You know, since birth, I've always felt like, you know, not that I was different, but just the fact that I didn't think the same or I didn't understand things as easily as everybody else. I was more so of a person. You know, I was a badass kid, you feel me? Like, I had to go against everything. I wasn't the rebel, but I was the one that, you know, would say something if it didn't, if it didn't seem right. Or, you know, if somebody was really going through it, I would talk to them, you know, be that voice. Or if somebody was getting bullied, I would stand up for them, no matter how big or how small I was, you feel me? It was always just trying to do the right thing as best as I could with what I knew what the right thing was. But even as a kid, I always just could feel right from wrong. And... You know, that may be something that everybody has that may not be. But, you know, you can always choose. You feel me? That's something that everybody does have, free will. You can always choose to make the right decisions to get you to the places you're trying to get. But, you know, growing up, it was always, you know, most of the time, if you listen to the people that care about you and that are around you, they're trying to help you. So my advice is to listen to the people if you are very young or if you haven't really had many encounters with life yet to experience and to teach you things it's a you know life just isn't life for you yet you know you're still here you kind of just spawned in you're just in the game you plan on getting kill streaks you plan on getting followers whatever nigga but you know you haven't been through life yet so you don't know what it is you're here to do you don't know what it is that you want to do and you probably haven't had an encounter a real encounter with god so you don't know you feel me why you're up you don't you don't really understand the reason why you're breathing right now you feel me like i don't really understand the reason why i'm awake but i know god for me woke me up again 
today to do whatever. Um, what I'm saying, in due time, you'll figure out what you need to figure out when it's time to figure it out for you. You feel me? Don't stress about what it is that I'm saying or what it is that other people are saying that you just don't get or don't understand. If you want to know something, if you want to learn something, and you, you feel me, put all your focus to that, and you don't let nobody tell you different, and you believe what you think is right, nine times out of ten, you're going to be more in control than what the person says. But you got to really remember, you feel me? Belief is a strong thing. So you got to make sure you're always believing in the right things and the right person. And, you know, believing in yourself is one thing. But being selfish and for the world is not where you want to be. And I can tell you this right now. There's a lot of people in my life that I know maybe didn't deserve to be. Didn't deserve to be with God when they died but God thought they did and I don't know what they did in their life but I'm sure they tried to give their life to God they tried to change their ways you know they were constantly seeking and I don't know I'm I feel me I'm brand new to this really I don't know but I do know that they're here with me watching me helping me you know God uses a lot of people in my everyday life that are alive with even just that memory of people, that's God. And um, he definitely uses these spirits or these people around me or, you know, just situations to teach me and shape me and get me through life. And, you know, for anybody that saw my struggle or saw my growth from here to then, you know, it's been a lot, like a lot. And, you know, it's all, the, all glory to God, but like, I'm not done yet. And that's just the whole, that's the whole point of it. You know, he's, he's going to bring you high. He's going to take you out of these dark places. And then he's going to show you the things you can do with him. He's going to show you the things you were meant to do with him. He's going to show you the person you were meant to be. You feel me? We're on earth. Not just to be on earth and fuck shit up. You feel me? We have a mission. Every single human. We have a mission. There's some people out there that know this. And they don't like that. This mission is life or death. And it's simply because we are the soldiers, we are the warriors, we are the servants, we are the listeners, we are the believers. But thou shalt not fear. Walk, in, walk by faith, not by sight. You feel me? Fear the God, fear God and nothing else. You feel me? When I was really beginning to learn and understand. And that's the devil screaming because he knows I'm getting closer to his plan. That's, that Jesus wants me to fulfill, trying to interrupt me in my course and whatever God had planned for me. Well, you know what you do when that happens? You pray it away and you cast it away. In Jesus' name, I pray that every demon that is around in my life watching this video, watching this across the world, watching this in my area, anybody that is here to stop God's will and plan, just humble them or take them away where they're far, far away from me and anybody else of your children but in jesus name i pray amen it isn't that easy and it's not that these things are that easy you know god makes these things feel easy to you know go against or to fight or to be better you know i used to have a lot of problems with addiction you know with women sex drugs uh certain type of types of music i made certain types of music i listened to you feel me all of these things really shape you and what you do in your life. And people don't realize that because it's not things that are taught or things that are talked about. So, yeah, like a lot of the times we're hurting ourselves, guys. It's really a me versus me. And I've been rambling on a lot about, you know, just how this shit is. Because that's really how it is for me still. Like, I don't want to make it seem like I found God and everything's just happy and better. Things got happier. Things got better. But... The, the, the more you seek God, the harder it will get. The stronger you get in relationship with God, the more you will get attacked. But then, you feel me, you're equipped more, to, you're equipped more for battle. Like, you know how to fight it. And that's fine. But these are things that we can escape, guys. So, you feel me, it's no point in me being here, you know, sad or scared or in the same place that I was before. Because I'm not there because of God. And I'm thankful for it. And I would never be back there again because of God. And I will take myself and my journey and my life and the people that are meant to be with me wherever God wants me to take them and that's just how life is that's what that's what life is when you know if you really sit down and think about it you know everybody's here for somebody else nobody's here for ourselves 
but that's the thing that God, you know, gives us, the blessings of life, the blessings of free will. So, yeah, we do get to enjoy a little bit of life, but it is meant to be um, in obedience to God. It is meant to be, you know, in the way of Christ. And, you know, whatever religion you follow, that's fine. Most of these religions, this, the God that they're idolizing or the God that they're worshiping, it's all the same God. It's just different names, which is wrong, but that's just the culture that they're in. That's the world making it labeled like everything else. God is God. Yahweh is Yahweh. Yeshua is Yeshua. The Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. They're all the same thing. They're all the same God. Allah, whatever you practice, these gods are all the same God. But I promise you, there is no such thing as a sun God. There is no such thing as the universe pulling strings for you. God is in control of every single thing you see, every single thing you feel, everything, every single thing you hear. You wouldn't even be able to experience that shit if it wasn't for God. And that was my problem. Let's just start there. That was my problem, the start of all of this shit. I had an ex-girlfriend. Um, I had a couple ex-girlfriends that were really into this shit, like this spiritual astrology number bullshit. And just, just so y'all know, you feel me? You can't tell me anything because I did the research. You did it. So you can't tell me anything other than, oh, it's not real because that's how you feel. I know it's not real. You can't say it's real because you feel like it's real. And, oh, uh, da -da -da. like, this is what you don't understand. You're a part of the world right now. You believe what's in the world. Just because you you believe it doesn't mean it's real. doesn't mean it's true. doesn't mean it's not hurting you. And that's things I had to learn. That's things I had to really realize because some people are really here to do things. Some people are really here you know, because they're just a part of it, I guess. You know, some people are chosen, but not all, not all are chosen. And those that are chosen have to walk a finer line, per se. Or those that are chosen, you know, God won't let them stop. You get it? You get what I'm saying? Like, there's things that we have to do to make sure his covenant gets fulfilled. You feel me? His word gets fulfilled. Like, everything is written already, and we have to read it and make sure it happens, to be honest. We just don't have as much control over it as we think we do. But, um, yeah, start there. You know, I had a couple girlfriends that were into that shit, into that stuff. And, you know, it was cool when I believed in it, when I thought about it, when I, you feel me, I started doing the work in my head. And I started, you feel me, it started feeling like something else. But I promise you right now, all of those numbers, astrology, and all that spiritual shit, um, that's Satan. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, I forget this guy's name, I'm not even gonna lie to you, but I used to really be a follower of him, and he was on TikTok a while ago, but he got arrested for apparently murdering or touching somebody, and I feel like it, he was falsely accused, but even, even still, even still, if he was on our side, he wasn't sharing the right messages, and he wasn't able to communicate the things he was actually learning, the right way because that's how I was influenced by you know the internet or just my own research um but not from the Bible not from God you feel me so it wasn't the right things it wasn't the right path for me and let's just put it this way and I'll really explain and dig deep because I'm not here to hide myself or hide my testimony or hide my life from anybody you know um there's something that I went through that can help somebody stay alive in this moment you feel me and that's the hope that's the goal but um yeah like let's just put it this way in the last four years i've almost died four times in the last four years two of those times were like you know my decision you know like i tried you feel me but that's one thing about god's children we're not allowed to kill ourselves so it is what it is but um life is just life you know and it's really nothing life is meaningless as shit it's all about what you choose to make it and um back then i chose for it to be dark i chose for me to be alone i chose for me to be a part of the world and i suffered from it you know god definitely humbled me and taught me a lot and you know he let me go through those storms to show that he is the one i need 
and that's a lot of the time what people in this, in this world are going through. You just don't realize it because you don't have the knowledge or the discernment from God to know that that's what he's doing for you. You know, and it's never to you. It's for you because God is that gracious of a God. Um, most of the time, we just fuck up our own plans he has for us. Most of the time. Most of the time. That's what happens. But let's just start let's just start there. I had a couple people I was talking to, dealing with. They weren't telling me all the right things, but they really hurt me. And you know, I really hurt them, but I'm pretty sure I'm a lot more healed or a lot more better off than I was before. Just because I'm not dealing with them or just because I'm not around the right you feel me, the same people and the same things. You feel me? What you're around really influence you and that goes as far as like your environment. Physically, mentally, spiritually, like the people, the music you listen to, the, the energy you're taking in. Like, yeah, bro, a lot of that shit really affects you and the way you think in your brain. Like, I had to stop listening to some niggas, bro. Real shit. Some niggas I don't listen to. Real shit. You feel me? There's a, there's a balance to a lot of things in life, and you got to be able to balance them. Or one side's going to be one worse than the other, and you're going to feel me like you're really going to feel that shit. And, like... I was a little bit unbalanced with this shit, really. And you feel me? I thought I was talking to God. I wasn't, though. You feel me? I was talking to demon spirits or Satan himself. I don't know. But all I knew was that I was believing the lies that Satan was telling me. I was believing a lot of lies. Um, I was doing a lot of things that just weren't me. And that's his whole goal is to... You feel me? To seek you, to find you, you know, set you apart from what you think you're being set apart from and just to deceive, to deceive you, you feel me? He's going to, from he's going to try to destroy you. He's going to try to break you down into the littlest pieces that you've ever been. And then his ultimate goal is to kill you. And he, and if you read the word and, you know, you understand a little bit, he's not able to do shit himself. You know, he has to send, uh, worldly people to do his his bidding his 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 killing per se his his sinning you feel me he can only use us against each other you feel me that's his 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 rule set up with god that's the only thing he can do and that's written that's real guys like he can't hurt us by coming to earth and breathing fire on us with his hot ass breath i don't i don't he can't do that he has to use my girlfriend to cheat on me and make my life a, a, a terrible hell for me to want to get so deep and so so low where I start doing these harsh drugs and I just fall apart from all my friends and family and eventually I just kill myself. That's what he wants. That's what he wants you to do. Or he wants other people to do it for him. He's a pussy. But just as much as he is a pussy, he once was an angel. So he's not as stupid as you think he is. You feel me? He knows the word. He knows who God is, too. He believes in God, too. He fears God as well. But you got to understand, he rules a whole different life, a whole different place. And in his head, he truly does think he's the one in charge. But you got to understand, once you have so many followers to make you think that you're doing something worth following, you think you're in control. That's the problem right now. The world has a little bit too many followers, and he's the ruler of the world, unfortunately. This is where Satan was kicked down from, from the heavens. He got sent to, to earth, and that's why, for some people, it's hell on earth. Because hell, heaven, or earth, heaven and hell is really in your head. It's the way you view life, the way you think about things. And, yeah, earth really fucking sucks when you really sit back and look at it. But if you're not a bitch, and you just say, fuck it, bro, if I ain't going to die, let me try to make the best of it. You can make it a little bit easier, a little bit better, a little bit more beautiful. Because life is worth is, is worth a lot once you really see what it is that it's worth. And I'm not going to lie, you got to go through the dark to see the light sometimes. But it's just the way it is. Um, I feel like maybe I could make a part two more so basically because I've talked a lot. And I feel like I spit a lot of real facts and, you know, things that people needed to hear in this video. I don't want to talk to y'all heads off because y'all are even watching this far. But, um... For real, for real, if y'all want a part two, just about my story with Jesus, my encounters with God, my testimony, which led me here, like, all these stories and things that I said and claimed, like, guys, I was in jail, like, guys, I was physically and mentally locked up, you feel me? Like, I was being forced to do things against my will, you feel me? I was being forced to 
follow something I didn't want to follow just because I wasn't right in the head. And a lot of us aren't right in the head, and that's okay. But I want to tell you guys, if you guys want to know how, you know, it really fucked me up and what it was exactly. So you guys can do a lot better of thinking, you know, there's not, like, there's a way out. You feel me? I didn't think there was, but there's a way out. And Jesus is the one way out. And, um, you know, just some of the shit that you guys are going through that maybe nobody else is going to talk about that, you know, I may have went through too, my boy, like, or my girl, like, yeah, life is really like that. And I want you to know I'm here for you because Jesus was here for me. And at the time, not a lot of people were here for me. But that's okay because there's real ones out of this shit that we all love. We all love love. And we all love the people that are really trying to do better and, you know, just focus on God. Because the sooner he's home, the sooner we all get to go home. So, um, we just trying to really figure this shit out. And, you know, just do the best we can. And I know you are. And I know it's hard. But, um, if you stop now, the fuck was it for? Like, just think about who you're like winning. Like, what was it for? But, um... Oh, and I'm not saying for you dickheads that really think, you know, you're something different. If you if you don't think you're a child of God, then you're not shit else besides a nigga that's practicing and messing with things that you shouldn't be. Your power isn't your power. So it can be used against you. And that's every form of power. The powers that we have on here on earth are things that are blessed in the spiritual realm. Spiritual realm that are blessed for us to use for good mostly. But when you niggas use them for bad, you reap what you sow. You feel me? Karma's a real thing, guys. So, um, you know, I just want everybody to do their best to take care of themselves and just, you know, not listen to me. Not listen to man. You know, go read your Bible. You know, go build a relationship with God and have him guide your steps and have him tell you where to go and what to do and who to talk to and who to be around and what's your purpose have him bring you the peace i can't i'm just here to let you know that we love you we see you and when i say we i'm speaking as a whole of the world of you know christ followers and jesus and god himself we love you and we all we all want you to succeed and do what you're here to do and we just want you to be happy and enjoy your life until it's your time to go, bro. But, um, this wasn't really an intro to this video. I'm not really going to edit this shit either. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to say a prayer for y'all at the end. And I would appreciate if, you know, you guys would just be there with me. Because it isn't just a moment with me and you. It's a moment with me and God that I'm sharing with you guys. And, um. It's not even that I'm sharing with you guys, you know. Uh, in the Bible, it says, when two or more are together, God is, is, is there. God hears you. And two or more is in prayer. God is more likely to answer these prayers. Um, and, you know, these are just daily prayers for all of us to succeed and have a happy day. You know, I'm not really more so thinking about our lives because God is in control. You know, we are in control of our day just as much as God is. But we need him to guide our steps because we miss steps sometimes and we go the wrong way sometimes and it's only prolonging our destiny it's only prolonging the pain you feel that you don't have to feel so you know just sit in this prayer with me bro Father Yahweh um, first and foremost this light hitting my face is thank you for blessing us with the sun for our energy and you know when it's cold outside to feel your heat to feel your love um Thank you for waking me up today and being able to speak to people who were just like me, who were in need when I wasn't able to come directly to you and they're not able to come directly to you. Thank you for being the vessel for, you know, the transaction to take place from your heart to their soul. Um, you know, please just rid all evil and whatever is hurting them in their heart and just make sure that, you know, your will is always, you know, it's never going to not be done, but thank you for always making your will done because I can really have faith and trust that, you know, whatever is going to happen, it's for a reason and I will later be revealed why it was a good thing. And it's never for our, it's never for our con, it's never for our defeat, it's never for our hurt. You know, it's always for us to learn and to be better and for us to keep growing and I appreciate that. Um, the other person through the screen watching this video right now, 
anybody who's around listening that just doesn't want to be heard um bless them too um make them feel your presence you know make them encounter how good you are so we can all learn how to be like you like jesus like your son thank you for your son jesus christ who you brought here on earth to die for our sins so we can live free of our sins every single day because you forgive us for our sins thank you for everything that you do you know everything that you've done everything that you're going to continue to do um and this is a daily everything every everyday thing and i don't want people to think that you know i don't even need to speak you will speak for me i love you <laughs> thank you for making my life the way it is now and taking me away from all the dark and the monsters that were in it um and yeah show his name i pray amen it's been your boy pressure i hope everybody is having a good day so far or trying to have a good day or i hope that helps you know can I get one more amen now? You feel me? Did you pray today? Type shit, type shit. But, um, I don't really got much else right now. I'm just trying to do what I was called to do. That's what I felt, so.